Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how I went from the before to the after in the skin retouching. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. First, I'd like to mention this video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Um, they are an online learning community with more than 17,000 classes to choose from. You can choose from a variety of different subjects. It's arts, crafts, technology, obviously photography and Photoshop. So if you guys are looking for more information on skin retouching or in general how Photoshop works or you know you want to know certain things about photography, then this is the place to go. There is a subscription website, which means you pay monthly or yearly and you get access to all the classes so you don't have to pay separately. They are way more affordable than other options on the market uh, as they are only around $10 a month for a yearly subscription, which I find is really, really good. So if you're looking for great quality Photoshop and photography tutorials, definitely check them out. And if you do want to check them out, make sure to use my link. I'll put it in the description below. And that will allow you to use three months of Skillshare only for 99 cents per month. So it's a great deal. Um, it's only available in January, so make sure not to miss it. Okay, so I have this photo that I recently um, shot in Bali. And I thought that I would show you how I work on it and so on. I always start in Lightroom because I always import all my photos into Lightroom. Um, and I always change two things when it comes to um, any retouching. I first enable profile correction for my photos as it gets rid of any distortion and vignetting. So just to kind of um, make it as even as possible. And then I go into profile and camera calibration and I either go to camera standard. And if this one seems a bit too strong, I might go into camera neutral which seems a bit more toned down and I think I prefer it for this case. But I do usually use um, camera standard um, for most of my images. Once I have that done, I edit it in Photoshop. Okay, so here we have the photo. There are a few problem areas, you know, you have the forehead that is a bit, um, there's a few spots there. You have the little bit of dark circle, you have spots here and there, there's nothing major. Um, okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, I am going to create another layer, just to kind of be able to kind of come back on my work, to see how far I went and so on. So first I'm gonna grab my patch tool as always. So what I usually do is I either select the patch tool and I go over the bad area of the skin and I just drag it onto the healthy area or I grab my healing brush tool and I just sample the clean area of the skin and then just go over the bad area. So anywhere that I see any fine lines, um, any kind of pimples and so on, I'm not worried about the skin discoloration as much because I'm going to be fixing it in a minute. This one is just like a um, rough clean, let's go this way. So every single time I go into a new area, I always select a new brush that is closer to the area of the skin that I'm working on. So let's say now I went into shadows, I just selected a closer color match to um, the skin that I'm retouching. So this is just like all the small imperfections. So next I'm going to move on to dodging and burning because that's my go-to technique. I'm going to press Alt, New Layer, Soft Light, fill with Soft Neutral 50% Gray. And that's where the real work starts, if you can say so. So now I'm going to grab a white brush on a really low flow. And I'm just going to go over the areas of the skin that seem darker than the others, just to kind of match them a bit. Now I'm going to speed this part up as it takes quite a long time to get through it, um, but you will get the idea of what I'm doing anyway. Once I have that done, I feel like I've done a bit too much on the skin. Um, it's just a bit too highlighted, so I'm going to bring the opacity down, as I sometimes do. So I'm just going to go maybe up to 50. Now I'm going to remove the dark circles, and to do that I'm going to grab a brush that is skin color, just to cover the um, circle a tiny bit. 
and then I'm going to grab my patch tool and I'm just going to grab pieces of skin that are darker um, just to kind of slowly match it um, to the final kind of look that I want. So as a final step, um, I feel like this is quite good, but I'm just going to grab a color, skin color brush and then go on like a really low flow and just go over the skin just a tiny bit, just to match it, um, to smooth out any kind of unnecessary texture that I don't want. I'm not going to go overboard. Um, I'm just literally just going to go a tiny bit over it. So as you see, you still have loads of texture, but it's just nice and smooth. Um, it's not as bumpy as before. I just add another layer where the skin is a bit more bumpy. Once I have that, as you see the before and after. Once I'm happy with the way the skin looks, I am going to move on to um, any other adjustments. I think I might lighten the eyes a tiny bit because the weather was quite overcast, so there are quite dark shadows there. So I'm just going to grab curves and I'm just going to bring the brightness up and then I'm just going to mask out the eyes. So I invert the mask into black and then I go over the eyes. I'm not going to decide in a second if it's too bright or not. Now, next thing I'm going to go and grab curves and just bring the brightness in general because I feel like the image is too dark. Once I got that, I am going to color grade. Um, I find the skin tone is pretty good, but it is slightly green. So what I might do is I might grab new layer, change the setting to color. And then just go over a few areas that I find are getting a bit green. So I just select the color that is more reddish. And then just go over the areas of the skin that I find are a bit too green. Now even if it looks a bit too red to you, don't worry, you can always bring it down. So even if I go over the areas that I find a bit kind of off color, I can always just bring it down. Once I have that and I have my brightness adjusted, I'm just going to add some highlights and shadows. So I'm going to go over the cheekbones, over the bridge of the nose a tiny bit, over the cupid's bow, the catch lights in the eyes, maybe over the brow bone. So any kind of high points of the face that the sun would usually hit. Another thing I might do, I might just grab a stamp tool and just grab the little catch light and just add it onto the other eye so it's a bit more even. Okay. And then finally, what I like to do is I just go to selective color. And if I still feel like the skin is a bit green, I might just go into red channel and maybe adjust the color slightly. I do kind of like the slightly colder tone, I think. And maybe a bit more magenta. Not too much though. Okay, let us see a little before and after. You can see there's quite a lot of change. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.